All right, well, welcome to the Oral History Program at the University of South Florida. Today I'm here with Raymond More at uh, La Saguda Central. It is the oldest bakery in Tampa, and uh, is it the oldest in Florida that you know? I would think so. I'm not really sure. You know, history tends to uh, get blurred after a while, but mm. we are the best. <laughs> that makes any difference. Absolutely. Well, anyone who's gone to uh, the Columbia for their food it always starts out with um, La Saguda Central bread. And um, first, tell us a little bit about how the, the bakery got started. Well, apparently, my grandfather, he was in the military. He, was, uh, he went to Cuba during the, uh, the war, and he came back into Tampa after the war was over. They sort of abandoned their soldiers, so he came into Tampa with a pr process for making Cuban bread. And he started it here in Tampa in 1915. And we've had various locations. This is our last one. Oh, okay. We're in three places now. But it's only called the second. Right. Don't okay. ask me why. I think the first one burned down. I don't know. Okay. And we figure that's why they call it the second. And so when did you move here? Right. We were across the street. The interstate came through and moved us here. So Okay. This is our last stop. So that was because of I-4 coming through right, that you had to right. move? We were gotcha. right at the foot of I-4. Okay. Um, well, tell us about some of the things that the baker has been known for over the years. Well, basically we, we specialize in Cuban bread, and that's our biggest thing. And like we've, we've been, as you mentioned, the Columbia Restaurant, we've probably been with them almost after they started, and we've been with them all these years. We supply all of their Columbias all over the uh, Florida. And uh, now we branch down into a a frozen bread, which is shipped all over the country. We do all the beef Brady's and who knows where else. It goes all over. Okay. So, so uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, you talked about the Columbia, and that seems to be kind of a pivotal point in the, the history of your business. I mean, before that, it was kind of a localized kind of thing, and now you're talking about a much bigger operation. So tell us a little bit about how that relationship got tightened up that way. Well, we used to, uh, like I say, we started furnishing their bread and they tried various places, but they couldn't get the quality that, that we give them and the, the tasty bread. So they eventually wanted to get it to their far stores, which we can't ship the long bread because it doesn't get there fresh. So we experimented making a half loaf and freezing it, and now it's shipped out by freezer trucks by different companies all over there. I think Cisco's the one that's furnishing their bread right now. So we ship it all over Florida. Well, it, it's hard to, uh, to open another place anywhere. It's just very hard. It's the way it's made. It's very labor intensive. You've got to be on top of it all the time. So we, we're actually localized here and try to ship it from here. Of course, we're up to about anywhere during the season, nine to 10,000 loaves a day. And that's a lot of production. So, uh, but we don't want to open another place. It's, it doesn't. It doesn't work as well. The quality doesn't seem to be the same. Uh, I don't know if it's the water or what, but the, they say the water has a lot to do with it. Like uh, sourdough bread in California is only made in California because they say it's a bacteria in the bay, and we feel maybe that's what controls it here too. Uh, plus, a lot of it has to do with the ingredients. We do not skimp on ingredients. We we give the best and we give them a lot of it. And that's why it does taste good. Originally, it was my dad and my uncle. They were brothers who were actually running the place, and they worked it. They did a lot of the production themselves, but as it got bigger, they sort of were elbowed out and started to bring in more workers and more workers. And now uh, the two sons, me being one and my cousin, which is the other one, we bought them out, and we started in increasing it. We don't work it. We're not as much labor-intensive in the baking of it. We mostly uh, just supervise it. Mm -hmm. 